All right then. Staff warriors bring frontline support to the heat of battle. That's right, gamers. Today, it is staff warrior that we're talking about. I think one of the most anticipated weapons, probably the one that I'm anticipating the most, although actually it might end up being Mesmer Rifle being even more anticipated because one of the devs said that, and I quote, Mesmer Rifle might have the most broken toolkit in the game. So yeah, get ready for that one. That's going to be fun, right? But anyway, today we're not talking about that today. We're talking about Warrior Staff, which is going to be a support weapon. Warrior has been lacking a strong support weapon to use in its support builds, and Staff serves to fill out some of the tools that Warriors need to support their allies. This is very much the case. Um, we have seen heal Warriors pop up, mostly in PvP and World vs. World. At the very start of uh, Ender Dragons, there was some potential with Heal Bladesworn. It was kind of like half a build, not exactly good, but it kind of like had a little bit there, but then that kind of got deleted with some trait reworks. But Staff is here to save the day in that regard. So let's take a look at what exactly is going on, okay? You know, I almost want to... Can we, can we watch it in full screen? I have to actually go on YouTube. Let's watch it big. Let's have like a giant video. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wait, let me in. Thank you. All right, here we go. Look at this. I like the uh, the warrior here. Look, we've got some leaping going on here. We've got some spinning. A lot of the animations here are kind of uh, from Revenant and from Thief. Actually, it looks really cool, really acrobatic and dynamic, all this kind of stuff on the warrior. Uh, and well, we'll see what some of these abilities are going to be doing here as well. But what's quite interesting, actually, is a couple of things to note here. Is that this leap ability, as we'll soon see, is actually a support ability. It's a heal, and it applies boons. Looks like it's going to be Might and Fury. We can see the uh, Fury hands here, basically. Like the kind of orange glow there. That's what Fury is, if I'm not mistaken. Blue explosion usually means healing. So that's kind of something you can watch out for as well. And it's probably going to be Might too. It will, I, I doubt they'll make an ability that like, only gives Fury. Maybe we'll give some other stuff as well. I could maybe You could throw some swiftness in there as well. Uh, for sure with that one and a lot of other stuff just some kind of basic moves We can't really see what's going on It kind of fires out some projectiles at some point and then come back to the target that is too long for a dodge roll by the way So it appears that it's gonna have some kind of evasion kit on it as well Which is pretty interesting and then also this charge now of course We don't know which one of these is the burst skill It's not immediately obvious like which is gonna be the warrior f1 or indeed the berserker primal burst So bear in mind we're getting extra skills here what warrior is not just getting five weapon skills We're also getting the regular burst skill and the primal burst skill for berserker and again remember heal berserker is the build that i think is most likely to be enabled by this so that primal burst is very important and i wouldn't be surprised to see that primal burst really lean into the, the support element um because i think that's the most likely support berserker um that will exist at least for pve of course in world versus world and pvp uh, um, and pvb i think spellbreaker is very likely actually uh, and we really see that with the mobility here um when Spellbreaker was meta as support in uh, PvP, uh, the really big defining thing it had was as a skirmisher. Uh, it was it was using the sword weapon set, right? So it was super mobile with Savage Leap, like leaping around the battlefield with a sword warhorn and then either a hammer, which even had some more mobility on it, or a dagger shield, right? Now we're going to have a staff thrown into the mix that looks like it's going to have additional mobility alongside some sustainability. Because, of course, you would use the shield to potentially um, kind of uh, support yourself and, and you know, not die using that block. But check this out. We might have an evade on this toolkit, and we're also going to have this cool block style ability here as well. This one's really cool. They talk about this a little bit. What it does is you block, and then the more you block, the more you heal your allies. Really fun skill. Uh, in addition to actually having this block ability. So this looks like this could have some serious potential to enable support builds, definitely in PvP. Uh, and I imagine in World vs. World too, support Spellbreaker is very much uh, a thing in World vs. World, because of course not only can you heal your allies, remove condies, and all that kind of good stuff, you also have the boon removal of Spellbreaker, which is obviously fantastic in the World vs. World context. And mobility is great as well, right? Like you need to be able to move, position yourself in World vs. World. So having a weapon like this seems like uh, a shoot, well, weird pose isn't it uh a bit of a shoe in for those two game modes as well in fact the one thing that's not immediately clear is actually kind of uh how this is going to look in pve actually uh because 
as before, we're going to be going over a couple of these skills. Uh, but I think we haven't really got a good image. I don't think I really have enough information to tell you, like, oh, man, is this going to be really sick? I think there's two components here. Heal Warrior is pretty much the weakest support build in PvE by a long way. So when I look at something like the Ranger Mace, I can go, oh, it's more healing. So Druid's going to love this, right? But with this... This weapon is important. This needs to be very impactful. Um, so, we don't really know that much yet. Basically, we know that our second skill here is a leap. It heals and then got offensive booms. Looks like it's going to be um, Might and Fury, I'd say. Maybe they throw Swiftness in there as well. Uh, we'll see. Uh, and then we also have the fifth skill, Bullet Catcher. Really, because this is the fun block one. It starts off as a channeled block, but also you have a secondary skill. This is like Revenant Greatsword 4, for example. Defiant Roar. Defiant Roar heals nearby allies with the amount increasing for each attack blocked by Bullet Catcher up to a reasonable amount. Now, obviously, that's probably going to be very powerful in competitive modes because, hey, you know, you're, you're being attacked by other players, but also as in PvE when you're tanking, for example. Uh, or if there's AoEs you can deliberately stand in, right? Or one really fun trick, you can try this, by the way, stand in bone skin AoEs uh, with Revenant Greatsword 4 and then unleash the attack. It does a lot of damage if you're playing a Vindicator or, well, any rev that has a Greatsword. Uh, for example, is uh, really good there. Uh, and this will kind of function in a similar way. It's fun skill, looks cool, and that's going to be a really good one. But we don't know much. I am expecting there to be other abilities that heal, and also probably some more boon access. You know, maybe some stuff like some Aegis, for example, would be great to add into the toolkit uh, for your support warrior. Hopefully some protection as well could do that. And I think the auto attack is important too. Like having like a good auto attack that maybe has some support, maybe a couple of boons thrown into that. Maybe you give some might when you're auto attacking, for example to nearby allies would be really, really nice. You know, having regeneration access, protection access. I think they do need to go hard on it. And actually, uh, I will actually maybe give you guys a bit of hopium for all the heal warriors out there. I expect them to push this pretty hard. I would have liked them actually to have shown a bit more. I think this is one of the weapons where they maybe should have pushed it and said, ooh, let's be, let's show a little bit more off. It's not the end of the world because of course we are getting this full live stream breakdown uh, at the end of the month. So it's not that bad that they haven't really given us that much to chew on here. Uh, but I am expecting them to push this quite hard as it is some of the archetypes in the game that needs help to exist. A lot of these weapons are kind of, they're going to kind of fit into existing builds. This weapon is going to make a new build, a completely new type of warrior that you can play, or at least set the groundwork for that. Uh, it's worth noting, by the way, that there are actually some really nice changes to Heal Warrior coming up with the next balance patch that will align with the beta test, right? For example, there will be uh, more protection from the tactics trait line, uh, and also a healing modifier, outgoing healing modifier in Discipline. So there's actually some pretty cool synergies kind of lining up there. And of course, uh, Quickness Berserker is way better as well with Smash Brawler and Heat the Soul being significantly improved. Uh, with that. So there's actually a lot of things that are going the way of the heal warrior um, to make that build kind of a thing. Uh, however, I do think it's going to it's gonna need a lot, right? Like, it, it does need to have a very fleshed out toolkit. And a lot of it is going to come down to these burst skills. Like, if the primal burst is good, if the regular burst skill is good, uh, and you know, the, there's a lot of other stuff packaged in, hopefully a lot of boon access on that, that should be good. Because, again, as the devs correctly say here, there's no, like, proper main hand weapon um, for... Uh, for, for Warrior to have that thing, to have that support. Because again, Warrior is very attached to its main hand weapon because that's where its burst skill comes from. It's still kind of an issue with the offhand. This is mostly in PvE, less so in competitive modes. But in PvE, when you swap off your staff, it might feel pretty bad because you're going to go from having um, like a potentially a really strong support toolkit and amazing burst skill to a burst skill that maybe doesn't really do anything for what your build is supposed to do. However, that will be compensated for by the fact that Warhorn is very strong with really good barrier application on the, uh, the fifth skill there. And of course, some really good uh, kind of utility um, condition management that's happening on that Warhorn um, offset as well. Even a little DPS increase, right? So that will be going on there. Uh, and because you have discipline, you can swap back very quickly. And this is like a unique thing that Warrior can do uh, that does give it... a. Uh, less punishment for having to swap to a set that has a very different toolkit to what your, your main weapon set is. And I think you'll use it reactively. Be like, ah, there's damage coming in, boom, barrier. Or, oh, I need to cleanse condies, boom, let's go over there, right? Like, rather than um, kind of getting, you won't get stuck there for too long. So it probably isn't that much of a big deal. But yeah, we shall see. Quickness Heal Berserker, I think, is going to be likely to pop up here. I actually do think, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this now. 
I think Blade Sworn unlikely to be good. Uh, I think the support is much worse there, especially seeing as you only have one weapon set. Having one weapon set actually really sucks because if you take staff, then you're not going to have Warhorn, and that actually feels pretty bad, to be honest. Um, you're not going to have bursts either, right? Because, of course, Bladesman doesn't have access to regular burst skills. You only have Dragon Trigger and the Gun Saber. So you're, you're going to be missing a lot of this new weapons kit. So I, it's very unlikely to me that Heal Bladeswarm will actually benefit a lot here. I think almost all of the benefit is going to be on the Spellbreaker build in competitive environments and for pve i think it will be the heal berserker uh there as well but overall i think pretty exciting i think it's actually a uh, pretty hype uh overall i think um once this drops we'll see where it's at and i think arena will probably continue to buff this build afterwards uh i'm of the opinion that it's better to kind of shoot high and maybe have to nerf it down a little bit uh rather than releasing something like oh brand new playstyle guys let's go and then it sucks and it's like oh well and that's a bit underwhelming isn't it and um it's better to overshoot a bit so i kind of hope they do that and this ends up being really really strong um <laughs> in that regard it's like a really fun powerful play style uh, to have in the game but i mean i will i guess we'll see when we get there okay now you can heal your allies by smashing things with a staff i mean look it's what we've always wanted. You know, I do expect this to be a weapon that in, in some ways, some warrior plays may be disappointed with, I think, because it is certainly true that warrior has had this gap in its arsenal for a while. But to be honest, I think because of that gap existing, it's almost like, well, hang on a minute. You know, we, we're warriors. We smash things. So I think there are some players that are going to go like, oh man, I was kind of hoping for like a ranged DPS weapon, like throw a spear and stuff like that. But I do think it is important to the game. And I think it will draw players who don't play warrior perhaps who are more into that supportive play style to get in there and who knows maybe it actually has some potential as a hybrid weapon too we have seen a lot of hybridization with the weapons so far so it's entirely possible that it actually does have some offensive potential uh, baked into it as well wouldn't be the first weapon to be good at damage and also having some support kind of built into it there as well I have to see how that develops one thing that i will say i am Almost, I feel like I'm a little bit disappointed in, but I guess maybe for like the larger weapons that have, you know, um, you know, uh, I, I guess like the two-handed weapons and you, you kind of have the flip skills. I was expecting it to have a mechanic, right? So like Force of Nature or the Axes on Thief. This does appear to be a more just straight up standard weapon. And that might very much be in the theme of Warrior. Like if you think about a lot of Warrior weapons, they're very just, oh yeah, it's a great sword. It's a rifle and you shoot people. It's a mace and you hit people with it. So that actually might be part of the roleplay. But I was really enjoying the thematic elements of some of the weapons that we've seen so far. So that's not happening this time around. But you do have these extra skills, like the flip skills. So maybe it's possible that there'll be another flip skill. And of course, you do have the bursts. So there is a lot of depth to the weapon in that regard uh, with how it can actually operate. But yeah, there you go. That's my thoughts on the Warrior Staff teaser. Not that much to go on, uh, to be honest. We'll have to really wait for the live stream to really make some decisions. Well, and then the day after to actually play with it to figure out what on earth is going on there. So that's it. Boom. Done. You can go and complain about it now. You now have my commission. Warrior, ma Warrior mains. Some of the most powerful mains in all of Guild Wars 2. You have to tell me your thoughts now. You have to leave a YouTube comment, okay? You have to leave your YouTube comment while the Twitch chat watches you, okay? Oh, yeah. You have to do that simultaneously. Enjoy it, my friends. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Okay? Um, but anyway, that's it. You should like the video. You should subscribe. You should leave a comment. You should come back and watch every single day, okay? You should watch live on Twitch as well or watch live on YouTube. All these things have been streamed on YouTube too. We're, we're everywhere at this point. We are everywhere. Oh, my god it's gonna be good it's gonna be fantastic it's gonna be it's gonna be insane okay oh oh i guess one thing before i head off actually i was gonna say that we might need to actually have a second main hand at some point to fully complete the support toolkit but not necessary as some support builds that are really good like a druid for example don't necessarily have a support main hand huh funnily enough until we add mace but yeah little bonus point there um this might be something that arena continue to build on and add another weapon maybe in the next expansion with like a support main hand although to put two new support weapons in a row would be a bit awkward or it could be a hybrid like ng mace like ng mace is a really good dps weapon and a support weapon simultaneously i don't know okay boom that's it i'm out for real no more stalling job done we got to watch the live stream for this one i'm out of here boom